welcome to the first Noosa Boom of 2021, showing you brand new videos from brand new up and coming comedy talent. First, I'd like to start with a song, a song to 2020, which I think encapsulates all of our feelings. First up, it's Claire Carty. Welcome to Mastermind. In the chair tonight, it's Claire, a freelance HR assistant from Respawn, and her specialist subject is things she really ought to know but probably doesn't. Are you ready? How do you spell remember? Pass. What date is your anniversary? June 13th. Incorrect, it was last week. Where are your car keys right in now? In my coat pocket. Incorrect, they're still in your car. What day do the bins go out? Pass. I just wait until I see the truck coming and then I run out. I'll accept that. Did you remember to turn the oven off before leaving the house? Yes, definitely. Incorrect, it's still on. That was Claire with an accurate depiction of how we all feel right now. Next up is Obi Arif, who's meeting some more strange characters around Brighton. Welcome guys, look, it's Rachel Quinn. Rachel, what have you been up to? I've been working on myself. I hate being sensible. I want to do something naughty. Like steal a rabbit. Sarge, we've got a possible theft in handling at the pet shop. Reports coming in of a missing rabbit. Have you ever stolen anything before? I've only ever stolen one thing. It was a book about rabbits. Suspect's female. Below What's in the bag, Rachel? Just a carrot. Where does he find these people? Talking of strange characters, here's Steve Barry. Hi guys! If you're like me, you don't like how you look or who you are, easy solution. Turn yourself into a Hollywood movie star by editing yourself into the movies. This is me as Bradley Pitt in the film Troy. King Malinus needs the support of other Greek kings to lay siege to Troy. All I needed to achieve this was an imagination, a green screen and an extra large bedsheet. Warriors of Greece, I call on you to help Malinus, King of Sparta. His beautiful wife, Helen, was stolen. Troy! Great work, Steve. Next up is Rachel, and you might not want to watch this one. <laughs> Since moving into this house in 2017, I have been judged by my neighbour's cats. This leads me to ask, why do cats judge me? Despite numerous attempts to ask my neighbour's cats for an interview, they have ignored my requests. So I have decided to get out on the mean streets of Worthing and ask other cats why they judge me. Are you judging me? And is the reason you're judging me because I was eating two cookies a day over Christmas? Or is it something else? Is it my face? Is it my face? Why are you judging me? I think you're judging me because I once said that Colombo looked hot, okay? Is that, is that it? Because if you saw him in the 1970s when Colombo first died, Peter Falk, he's not that bad. But that's no reason for all of you cats to gang up and judge me. I'm about to go and interview a cat called Darcy. The word on the street is she's a bit of a psychopath. Well, I just spoke to them and I asked Darcy, was the reason that I was being judged because in my 20s I fell over once and I slapped a goth on a nipple. Darcy, she reacted really aggressively to my question so I didn't get any answers, just aggression. Finally, I approached this small grey cat 
but he didn't want to answer my questions either. So for now, I remain judged by cats without knowing why. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? No! But who do you want to see next? Sean and Flambard! Oh, well, it's your lucky day! They're on next by Kristen Jagger. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sean, and this is Flombard. Say hello, Flombard. <laughs> Flombard's always screaming due to his fragile mental state. Well, we're here today to show you how to change a boiler, aren't we, Flombard? Because most heating problems are caused by faulty boilers. Our boiler packed up about six months back, and we didn't have any hot water, did we, Flombard? Look at Flombard. What's he like? I don't know. Well, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes it might just be a faulty valve, but more often than not, you're going to need to change it, so here's how. Inside your boiler, boys and girls, is a system of cogs and machinery that looks a bit like the Terminator. What you need to do is twist off the head, pop it in the bath, pop it in the post, and fit a new boiler as soon as you can, because it's horrible without hot water, isn't it? Freezing. Your new boiler should look something like this. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. What's that, Flambard? I can't, it's just screaming. I don't know what you're trying to say. Anyway, I'll say goodbye to the boys and girls. You go and have your pasta. There he goes. Look at Flambard. He's like Vin Diesel, isn't he? Well, till next time, and here's me goodbye song. You can bring love to a damp hotel, but you can't take a dog into Asda. Bye-bye. Wow, what great content. Well, that's nearly it for this month's new taboo. We'll be back next month with brand new content. But for now, here's a special shout out to all of you out there who have been stuck on Zoom calls this year. Along came a pandemic. We had to stay inside. But for a nosy Parker world, well, the world is on your side. Now, here's a chance for me to see inside your house, wherever it may be. I'm judging you, I guarantee. I'm looking through Zoom windows. You've got plain white walls or a weird armchair. I'm past remarking, just sitting here. Why the hell is that banjo there? I'm looking through Zoom windows. Work will never be the same. You know, the covers on their beds but did your work don't concentrate and just judge the house instead there's a live laugh love sign on jane's wall we get it dave's been too liberal but i think those sofas have been recalled looking through zoom windows steve your bookshelf is way too cluttered susan's eating her toast unbuttered peter looks like he's in a cupboard looking through zoom windows sorry stacy your cat's all cute i hate how colin's displayed as blue nothing nice to say i'll just stay on mute Looking through Zoom windows. Now I don't want you all to think I'm being much too snobby. Just this year's been quite dull and judging houses becomes my hobby. Those disgusting curtains were a clear mistake. Clean your room up for goodness sake. I'll judge you more if your background's fake. Looking through Zoom windows. Behind closed doors we never knew. But if you stay on gallery view, we can see all the shit you don't want us to. I'm looking through Zoom windows. Behind closed doors we never knew. But if you stay on gallery view We can see all the shit you don't want us to Looking through Zoom windows